I'm Jennifer Spaskus. I am a senior physical therapist at Kessler Rehab Center. Um, I am the lead of the Dance Special Interest Group, which is part of the Performing Arts Special Interest Group. And today I've got Simone with me. I'm Simone Beckley. Uh, I am a semi-retired professional dancer. I am a current student in the Rutgers uh, Masters of Education in Dance Education program. And I'm conducting my student teaching internship at High Tech High School in North Bergen, New Jersey. And today we're going to go through a dancer rehabilitation injury screening process. Um, so I've had Simone fill out the top half of the screening form already. It lists um, demographics, uh, how much dancing she's doing right now, any other sports or cross training that she's doing, um, some current injuries, and a history of previous injury. Um, so right now it says that you're dancing about five hours per week. Is that just what you're doing teaching right now? Yeah, I would say like that's probably a total of five active hours. Um, okay. Teaching is often pretty stop and go. All right, and on the side to cross train, it says you're doing weightlifting, yoga, and Pilates. Is that on a regular basis, or a couple times a week, or as you can fit it in, or as I can fit it in, it's somewhat sporadic. Okay. Um, you've listed under the current complaints or current injuries some low back pain, SI joint pain, and left hamstring pain. Low back is across the low back, one side or the other. Um, more on the left side. On the left side, and you also had an injury. To L5 S1, you had a disc herniation, um, and you did have a micro discectomy in May 2014. Um, do you have any other restrictions from your surgery still? Uh, so the range of motion in forward flexion um, is not what it was prior to the surgery, so that is still restricted. Jumping and running cause pain, okay. um, and I would say. Uh, I have a slightly less of a range of motion in um, extending my left leg in the forward yeah, session. Um, and your your left side low back pain, that's where you have the discectomy from towards the left side. Yeah, it, the pain manifests like in my SI joint, even though that's like not exactly where the surgery is from. I've heard that like having pain in that area is a typical typically Could be referred to yeah. Okay. So as we go through the dancing screen, let me know if anything is uncomfortable, painful, or a little stiff. Um, we're gonna do a full body quick assessment. We'll look at a little bit of posture, and then we'll look at some dance activities also. So we'll go through the screen with you facing me, and for the video, I'll also have you face and do the screen facing forward. Um, all right, put your feet together, arms at your side, and bring your chin down to your chest as far as you can. Very good. And go ahead and look up and back as far as you can. Great. Uh, look over your left shoulder as far as you can and then over the right shoulder as far as you can. Any pain with any of those motions so far? All right, very good. Bring your left arm, put it to the tip of your right shoulder blade, and then switch to the other side, to the other side. Very good. Uh, then next one, bring your left hand to the tip of your right shoulder on the top, and then the opposite. Very good. And relax. Anything with that? Nope. Put your hands together, dive on down to your feet. Very nice. Come on back up. Pain with that? Discomfort? No, but I went into it pretty slowly, so that's... <laughs> you felt like you were controlling yeah. it a little bit. You said die, I realized we will have to slowly, <laughs> slowly die. <laughs> slowly die. Uh, the next one here, you can put your arms by your ears and you're going to lean backward and up as far as you can and forward. Just lean backwards. Good, come on back up. Any pain with that? No. Okay. Uh, stay where you are. You're going to have your hands at your side. You're just going to rotate around to one direction and then to the other. Relax, do that one more time. Just rotate and hold it. Try to keep the knees straight. Do you, are we letting the hips? Just rotate. Okay, sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, good. Um, the last two, one last thing here, you're going to stand on the left leg and you're going to balance. If the balance is okay, go ahead and close your eyes. <laughs> Switch sides, get your balance first. <laughs> Very good. 
Are you concentrating your heart with that? A little bit. A little, a little bit, yeah. Um, <laughs> the last activity on this screen, you're going to put your hand, you're widening your base of support a little bit. Put your hands facing into your ears and then straight up. And you're going to squat down as far as you can. Okay, and come up and look at me. Um, bring your chin down to your chest. And then up and back as far as you can. Good. Look all the way over your left shoulder. And then all the way over the right shoulder. Um, face the back. Bring your left hand to the back of your right shoulder blade. And then the right hand to the back of the left shoulder blade. And then the left hand over the top to the back of the shoulder blade. And then the opposite. Very good. Uh, face back to the front face. Put your hands together and dive forward. Come up, arms at your ears and knees backward. And come on back up. Stay with your arms at your side. Twist in one direction, hold it. And then twist in the other direction. Okay, good. Put your, uh, widen your base of support. Put your hands over your ears, bring the arms up, and go ahead and do that deep squat again. Good. And relax. <laughs> Uh, so the, the main thing I saw on the screen was really with that rotation. You were compensating a little bit, and I don't know if that was a, a natural thing or a hip tightness or a back tightness. So did you want the legs to be so straight? The, the, purpose of the, is, the purpose of the screen is to see how your body is moving normally. Okay. Not to feed you so much in how to move. Gotcha. And with dancers, that's very important because dancers want to be able to do it right. Yeah. But I just want to see how your body is moving. And that's probably part of that lower back pain. Yeah. So there is like, I do have issues with rotation. I just wasn't sure. I was like, are the hips spiraling? Or did you want right. like, So yeah, it's more of a trauma rotation, but we're looking cool. at the spine, the hips, the knees, the ankles. So if you're getting more rotation by bending your knees and getting your hips into it, that's probably a, a, no a natural compensation which is fine for what, that's what we're looking for, these natural compensations. Um, your actual, your forward flexion was pretty good. You had a nice curved spine. I could see you were reaching a little bit, but I would actually pass that as a normal score for what I was looking for quickly in the screen. Uh, so stay facing this way. The next thing I'm going to look at, you can uh, march your feet into like a, <laughs> a natural parallel flex position. Um, and we're just going to look at your posture straight on, and I'll ask you to turn to each side and the back as well. Uh, quick screen, I will actually talk through this as I'm going, going over with you. So quick screen, um, come into a little bit more neutral first position. So like one or two fists in between. So is that one or two fists? Oh, sorry, gotcha. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, so I'm looking for the foot position. Nice straight forward so that your arch is lifted, you're not permitted, you're not stimulated, that looks good. On to knee, there's going to be a tiny bit of slight medial rotation there. Don't change any of your posture right now. Um, quick screen, hips look good. Go ahead and face the side there. Looking from the side, good foot position, posture. Um, the knees look nice and straight. No significant hyperextension I'm seeing right there. Maybe a little flat through the lumbar spine, a little flat through the thoracic spine. Head neck look pretty good, shoulders look okay, but go ahead and turn to the back. Same thing from the back, looking from the bottom up. So you like to have a little bit of a wider base of support. That's probably a natural position for you, that's fine. Um, heel cords look nice and straight. You can see that medial rotation a little bit of the knees there. Again, pretty good with the hip, the low back, and then face to the other side to round it out. And fairly good knee position. Maybe a tiny bit hyper extended on this side, but uh, not anything significant. So now we're going to move on to the functional dance assessment. Um, I'd like to remind my dancers that the activities that we look at are going to be based on ballet positions because that is the root of most dance styles. Um, so even if your primary style is modern dance, we're still going to look at these things for some postural and technical information. The first activity, you're going to hold on to the bar. Uh, we'll do it here and we'll also do it from the side so you can see on the video. The first position is turn up first, so go ahead and get to a, a relaxed, comfortable first position. 
Again, I'm going to talk through some of the critiques as I'm going over it for the video to see. Otherwise, I'd like to screen, go through the screen quickly, and review it with the dancer afterward. So in our functional turnout, our first position, we're looking for knees lining over the second ray. Um, don't make any corrections yet as we go through. So we're looking for the knee, the tibial tubercle, the, the patella to go through that second ray. Uh, not forcing any tibial torsion here. No over pronation. We're looking for a normal weight distribution. And then from the side, we'll be looking at the lumbar spine to see that there's no increase in that. So just standing here, what I'm seeing right now is that turnout is pretty even. Um, your left leg might be slightly more turned out than your right, but nothing I'm concerned about right now in quick screen. Your rotation looks pretty good. No over pronation. Ankle, the knee is with the ankle. You could probably rotate a hair more, but in general for a quick screen, first position looks very good. Um, from here, you're going to go ahead, let me talk through these and then you can do, but the next activity is a plie. I'm going to look for the knees going over line, over or in line with that second right again. So this is the dynamic version of the turned out position. We're looking for the knees to go straight over that second ray. I'm also looking that the dorsiflexion is a functional dorsiflexion. There's no over pronation uh, from the foot or from the knee hip alignment. From the side, I'm looking for a straight plumb line coming down. Sometimes I'll do demi plie and a grand plie, so we'll show both of those variations. And then I'm looking for a normal weight distribution, side to side, front to back. So without using those cues, <laughs> go ahead and give me a few demi plies. And then go ahead and do a grand plie. Nice and easy and come back up. Good. Again, pretty good, very good alignment. Uh, you can relax your hand. Um, Everything was pretty much in line. As a quick screen, I have no critiques for that as well. We're going to move on to the next position. This one I'm going to have you do position and then I'm going to talk to sure. so Just press up into an eleve or a releve, and you're going to see if you can hold your balance there. Here, and don't feel like you have to hold it the entire time. Here I'm looking for a stable position with the weight distribution right over that second toe and a nice straight line between the ball of the foot, the ankle, the knee, the hip. From the side, again, looking that the, um, the spinal curve is slight, not too straight, not too um, overcorrected. And we're looking that as she presses up, I'm gonna press up one more time, that her knees and hips are engaged so that she's maintaining that turned out position. You can relax. The next activity I'm going to look at is a tendu to the side. So go ahead and give me a couple tendus to the side with the right foot. Good. Turn around and do it with the opposite foot. With that left foot. Good. And come back to the, to the front here. In the tendu, I'm looking at she's maintaining her true turnout position. Um, and not making a compensatory femoral internal rotation. So tendu side should be on that should be straight out from the angle of the turnout and and maintaining that external rotation. So come back in, show the wrong way, go right out to your side. What happens sometimes, um, and especially younger dancers think that going to the side is truly to the side but should be probably more in front of the arms and should be straight out from that turned out position mm -hmm. um, and maintaining the rotation. So I would lessen your side and rotate a little bit more. That looks beautiful. Um, turn around to the back one more time. So the other thing that we're looking at here is as she tendus to the side, she's not shifting or sitting in that right side. So close, show it with a shift, and come on back. Kind of sit right back in your hamstring and your Feel there as you come to the side. So we don't want that either. Come on back. Pull up nice and tall and um, go ahead into the, the, a, a good side position as you're lifting. Very good. Come on back. Very good. Turn around. 
The last activity on here is a little bit more of an advanced technique, a developé that's coming up through passe and then extending to the side. So it's like a tendu up into the air. Good, come on down. Turn around and do that to the back also. And come on down. Good. So we're pretty much looking for the same thing with the developé. Um, a little bit more important with the developé is, is that shifting. So you want to maintain a stable position in your hips and your trunk. We're looking that the dancer is not hiking her hip um, or doing that compensatory internal rotation. So the positioning is very important, the rotation is very important here, and looking at that, the hip alignment. So go ahead, come up and do it the wrong way. Do it with the hip height straight to the side. A lot of times, and then good, relax, come on down. A lot of times young dancers will hike on the side that they're going to, or even if they're not hiking, they might shift a little bit more to the side. And sit, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then turn around to the back. Uh, just do it regular, and then uh, we're looking for the turn out to come from the hip. So turn back to the front. I'll get right down over here. So as you come up through passe, out to the side, we're looking to yeah to maintain that turn out. So it might be a little less than you're used to, but to be able to engage the correct. And as they lower, making sure that they're not rotating in, um, rotating the foot in too much as they're lowering to, and they're not deactivating those muscles. Good, you can come back in. So we'll do the assessment one more time from the side. Uh, again, I'll try to run through some of these, uh, these corrections that we're looking for. Uh, first position, turn out. Again, looking at the lumbar lordosis. She is already a little bit flat there, but actually when she's turned out, uh, she has a, a better curve in her lower back. Normal weight distribution side to side, but also from the side, seeing that there's no forward backward, uneven weight distribution, looking for the knees in line with the ankles, and then from the front in line with that second ray, and no forced positioning. Uh, go ahead and do some plies. From the side, looking for that plumb line, the shoulders over the hips, over the ankles, over the knees, especially coming down to a front plie. From that position also, are the knees coming over that second ray? Do that one more time for me. Good, and um, from the front, not so much from the side, I'm looking at as she's plie, her knees are, are widening in, in, uh, in line with her turn. Go ahead, press into the releve or an eleve, and then hold your position. Looking for that plumb line, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, nice and straight, not hyperextending through the ankles, maintaining a turned out position from the thighs, keeping everything in alignment over that second ray, you can come on down. Tanya to the side, so find, uh, show us an incorrect side position first, and come on back in. And then show us the correct position straight out from the turnout and then turning out more. Good. And then do that one more time on the other side. Good. Uh, from there, we're going to look at the, the develop A from the side. So coming up through passe. Good. Looking for the rotation. Come on back down. Do that one more time. Beautiful, come on down. And then show the incorrect. Good, relax, and then the other side. Oh. Yeah, and it's, I think, do you want me to do like a worse? Give me like a, yeah. give me a really good hit right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Very good, and you can relax. Um, so when I'm done doing the screening form with the dancer, I'm going to check off a box on the recommendations down here. As of now, we are allowed to check off uh, one of three options, or multiple. Uh, the first one here is that you're determined to be at low or little risk for dancer three. I would put Simone in that category. Very minor, if any, um, technical issues that are going to affect her risk for dance injury. The second one is you're, you're determined to be at moderate or a high risk for dance injury. 
And then there is a checkbox on the bottom here to, to discuss the risk factors with your licensed healthcare professional and possible interventions, including PT evaluation and treatment. At this point, I would say, Simone, there are a couple of little things we'll talk about. Um, otherwise, no increased risk for Dan's injury at this time. Continue doing the cross training with the yoga and Pilates for some of the back rehabilitation. Um, and then just thinking about some of those subtle postural things with the, with the turnout of the time.